you're feeling depleted, Virgo. Nine of Cups in reverse, maybe dealing with a selfish boss, selfish company. We're taking a look at your work, finances, what's going on with money this week on Monday, this Monday, I should say. This Nine of Cups, feeling depleted, like there's nothing left. You've been worked to the bone here with this Devil card energy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn boss. Could be dealing with somebody who's just working you dry, but this could be with this Four of Swords needing to take some time of rest, a vacation. That vacation may lead to you never coming back. And for some of you, you've already left because you realize that maybe this workplace isn't any good for you anymore. And it's not that maybe, and it may not be that the people are bad. It may not be that the company's bad, but this is no longer a good fit for you. Justice card in the reverse. We are in Libra season, bringing balance back to a situation. This situation may just be imbalanced. Virgo, drop your flag. Drop the sign of the person that you are dealing with in the workplace or the people. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what resonates for you down in the comment section. Find me on Instagram. All that information is down in the comment section, down in the description box. And let's get into this. And with this two of pentacles, to clarify this nine of cups, feeling depleted, dealing with somebody who's potentially very selfish, asking more of you than what you can possibly give what any one person could possibly give. Here's the two of pentacles in the reverse as well. So while you know that you need to leave, know that you're feeling burned out here, you're still reluctant to make this choice. That's your energy here with this two of pentacles. Could also be a Taurus or a Capricorn that you're dealing with. We have the devil showing up already, Capricorn energy. This could be a fear of something new. This could be a fear of not making the same amount of money at the next place or being just as comfortable, maybe even have to do with traveling here. But you are carefully, you haven't, you're not making it because you are carefully, excuse me, weighing your options here. No question about that, Virgo, you are a planner. But you may be waiting so long that you're doing yourself a disservice here with this double card. You don't want to be so burned out. I feel like some of you are so burned out. You may be drowning in tasks with this justice card in reverse and you need to take a break that you feel like you can't. Like you would be fired if you took a break because you're so behind in things. But what I'm getting is that's not your fault. That's this company's fault. That's your business partner's fault or your boss's fault for overloading you. And this has shown up in almost every single reading that I've done so far. Air, fire and now this um Taurus and now you Virgo the hangman Pisces energy we had the full moon in Pisces about a week ago we got these rats all around we're talking about work are these people hanging you out to dry here Virgo requiring you to do all of the work while acting like they're they're also playing a part in this chiming up during the meetings but really not contributing anything and then you're to blame or they're asking you all the questions like you know, but really they're not contributing to anything you don't know because they're not talking to you. Ooh, you're stressed out, Virgo. Damn, what is this situation? This four of swords needing to take a break here, a rest before you speak on something, before you make a final decision on something. Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. New opportunities coming your way. We have the Two of Pentacles and now the Knight of Pentacles right next to each other. You're fighting this crossroads, but there are opportunities waiting for you. Now, don't be in a rush. Some of you guys, I wouldn't say, especially during this retrograde, you should walk out the door without having something lined up. Some people, you can take that, take that leap of faith, but that's never my advice. Let me just say that now. Some of you are going to do that. Don't do that. This side of pentacles is symbolizing that, yes, blessings are coming, but they're going to be slow. This is not a thing where you jump on the first thing that comes your way. Read the fine print. With this high priestess here in reverse, okay, this is secrets. But this, again, if you're not reading thoroughly and you're rushing through and signing these contracts right now, you may miss something. That's important. And you may feel like you didn't know or that it was a secret. And really, it was there all along. Don't get caught up in some nonsense because you weren't paying attention. Be careful. Slow down, Virgo. To clarify this devil card, this Capricorn energy, this feeling bound, stuck. 
exhausted, like you're killing yourself, working for this person, working with this person. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, the Queen Bee, that's you, Virgo, or King. Gender is no matter in this. But this speaks to you being upside down. So while you're usually on in the workplace, Virgo, you are the perfectionist of the Zodiac. Your shit is not right right now. And that's because you're mentally exhausted. You're mentally exhausted. There is no balance in the situation. You're drowning. Drowning, depleted, being taken for, for granted. And this Queen of Pentacles also makes you feel like people are asking you things in meetings, expecting you to be on top of it like you usually are. And you can't be. You're, again, mentally exhausted. You can't do anymore. You can't take anymore. This fell onto the ground, the Wheel of Fortune. In the upright, karma. The Wheel of Fortune spinning in your favor, needing time running out. Right time, right place. And it could be that time is up. These people hung you out to dry. There's nothing left. It may be time for you to go. But you need to line something up first, Virgo. Do not be impulsive. Do not be impulsive. This is not the time for that. Oh, let me make sure I shuffle these in there too. That With this high priest in the reverse and all these things here, that would be bad timing. So while these, Jesus, while these opportunities are coming your way, because they are coming. Be patient. Be patient. Again, I keep saying that. Read things thoroughly. Underneath this justice card in the reverse, a lack of balance. We are in Libra season. You could be dealing with the Libra. The three of wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, waiting for your ships to come in. And anytime I see this little whirl here, it makes me think of a wheel of fortune. This is for a limited time. Or that this imbalance could potentially be temporary and you just need a break. For some of you, you just need a major vacation. You must take this break. You must demand it. And for others of you, it's time for you to go. You need to find a, a better workplace. You need to find some work-life balance here. What's this popping out? The Three of Cups. Celebration. Reuniting coming together, three of wands, three of cups, action and emotion, balancing things out. You're getting ready to make some moves here to rebalance out your situation. You're gonna communicate with your boss or business partner, whoever it is that you're working with and let them know what you need. And if they can't meet your needs, you're going to leave. Or you're going to be planning on leaving here with this two of wands. It's going to put you at a crossroads. Are you going to stay? Are you going to go with this two of wands? That's exactly what this is about. Underneath that Virgo energy, this is you, honey. Hey there, on the beach. Needed to take that vacation. This is that. Taking some time away. Separating yourself from, from the rest of the world. Taking that vacation. Doing some deep introspection, soul searching. For some of you, this could even be a career change here with this Wheel of Fortune High Priestess. This soul searching, this little break here. Maybe you take some time off work because you got some money saved. Virgo, queen, queen, uh, queen of Pentacles here. Taking some time out to focus on yourself here. And you may go through a career change. You may be starting a new business here while you take this vacation and you never come back. Some of you may be taking this break, starting a side hustle and then working this and this may be your new career. And with this five of pentacles in the reverse, turning this situation, the rug being pulled out from underneath you around. Taurus energy with this five of pentacles. That's a heartbreak, a betrayal, the rug being pulled out from underneath you. But Virgo, with that being in the reverse and me knowing that we are in Mercury retrograde, that's you bringing balance back to your situation. For some of you, you're going to wind up upside down because you don't want to speak. You don't want to take the action. You're too in your head about it, trying to people please. But for those of you that finally stand up for yourself, take that break that you need. And not only that you need, that you deserve, Virgo. Oh yeah, you're about to avoid a major setback, setback heartbreak situation here. Knight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Mm-hmm.
this knight of swords, ten of pentacles, all these in the reverse. Queen of wands is all about her business. All about work, collecting the bag. In the reverse, you can't do anymore. Ten of pentacles, that's your abundance. Closing out a cycle. You can't do this anymore. It's depleted. I feel like this is you running out of ideas in the workplace. Again, with this, why are people asking me questions where they know I'm overwhelmed? That's that. You can't take on anymore. You cannot. And with this Knight of Swords, this is just a game of catch up and cleaning things up with this Knight of Swords. There's things that are not being told, but this is also a card of people trying to cover things up, bury things, not dealing with the issues at hand here. Because they're hearing about these issues with these little breadcrumbs here, but also that speaks to them breadcrumbing you, telling you that things are coming and they're not with this um, Knight of Pentacles energy that we have here. So those are your opportunities coming in, but this company is still playing games. Three of Pentacles in the reverse, and that's where we're going to end it here, Virgo. A lack of cooperation. That's really what this comes down to. A lack of cooperation, a lack of people listening to you, listening to your ideas and what it is that you bring to the table. And it may be time for you to explore your other options here outside of this company, outside of this business partnership. Virgo, let me know how that resonated for you down in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. And I'll be checking in with you soon, Earth Sign family. Keep it real.